What's up guys? This week I'm going to show you how to tear a cake so that way your cake is structured and you don't end up with a crumbling pile of a mess. My name is Lori and you're watching The Icing Artist. To start off, I've already layered up both of my tiers. I've done an 8 inch and a 6 inch round. But before I start icing them, I need to add in one of the most important components to tearing a cake. A cake board that is the same size as the cake that we're going to be tearing. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of buttercream onto the cake board and then place that icing slide down onto the top of my cake and flip it over. That is half the structure for tearing a cake, but we're gonna get to the other half in a minute. I'm gonna be icing this cake on a bigger cake board. I'm just gonna add a bit of icing into the middle so that way my cake doesn't go sliding around when I'm trying to ice it. And now I'm just gonna give both of my cakes a nice crumb coat and then a thicker coat of icing. Of course, if you guys want the recipe, I will leave a link right here to my Back to Basics playlist. You guys can also see how to cover a cake in fondant and how to ice cupcakes and my buttercream icing and a bunch of other basic videos to get you guys started with cake decorating. Now that both my cakes are perfectly smooth, I am just gonna use a cake board that's a bit smaller than my top tier to mark out the center onto my bottom tier. And that's so I know where to put my dowels when I'm putting the structure so we don't have one kind of sticking out the side of the top tier where you can see it. It is time for the second half of our tiering structure. I'm gonna be using food safe dowels as my structural pillars that are gonna hold up the weight of the second tier. I just marked out the height of the dowel that's the exact same height of the cake using an edible marker and then cut that using cable cutters that I just found at a tool store. Now I'm only using three dowels for support for my top tier, but that's because it's only a six inch round. If I was gonna do the top tier as like an eight inch round, or if I was gonna be doing a three-tier cake or something, you're gonna to wanna to use more dowels for the bigger cake you use. Think of it this way, the heavier the cake, the more support you're gonna want so that way all the weight doesn't go crushing down. But if you guys don't wanna use dowels, you can use other things to tear cake as well. I got these straws at a cake decorating store and they're really nice and thick. The nice thing about these is they just cut with scissors when you mark the height, so you don't have to use another kind of tool or anything for it. But personally, I've just been using dowels for so long, so that's the way I like to tear cake. But no matter what supports you use for a cake, you wanna make sure all of your supports are the exact same height when they go into the cake. Otherwise, when you put the top tier on it's going to be tilted or angled and as you can see once I put the cake board on top which the cake is going to be sitting on no matter how much weight I push down on that cake it's not going anywhere because it's fully supported so the weight's no longer on that bottom tier the weight is going to be just on those pillars and cake board I'm just going to add a little bit of icing onto the top of that cake then I'm just going to loosen the cake from that bottom cake board using my offset spatula but that small cake board is still underneath the cake now if you ask anybody this is the most terrifying part about tearing a cake everything else is easy other than this part you just want to carefully pick up the cake and then place it on and it, it looks kind of easy you're just picking up the cake and placing it on but it can be kind of tricky especially with a buttercream cake but once you get used to it it's not as scary and then I'm just gonna shift it around until it gets centered hard part done now to keep that top tier from sliding off we're gonna have to structure it by putting a dowel straight down the center so I'm gonna cut a dowel that's about half inch shorter than the cake so it's not sticking up through the icing and then sharpen the one end with a pencil sharpener I'm doing this so that way I can hammer it right through that cake board that's in the center and you can use another dowel to help kind of tap that right in. And I like to give it an extra tap so that way it goes right into that bottom cake board so this cake is not going anywhere. It is fastened right down to it. If you worry about the cake kind of twisting at all, you can add two dowels straight through. And obviously this method kind of leaves that hole in the top of the cake, so I'm just gonna fill that with some icing and cover that up. But most cakes usually have some kind of topper on the top of them, so you're not gonna see it anyways. I'm also gonna add a little bit more icing on the edge of that top tier to kind of clean that up and finish it off with a trim. But if you guys don't wanna see that hole in the top of the cake, what you're gonna do is once you've added the supports into the bottom tier, you're just gonna add the middle support at the exact same time that's gonna stand up straight. And when you're doing your top tier, you're gonna do that on a cake board that has a hole in the center so you can drop it onto that dowel. Little bit more tricky, that's why I prefer this method. Of course guys, there are so many different ways of tearing a cake. This is just the method that I've been doing for forever. But you gotta find what works for you. And if you guys are doing more tiers, you're just gonna repeat the same process of structuring it and adding the different tiers. And the most important part of tearing a cake is that all of the weight is not on that bottom cake so that way it's not crumbling in, that all the weight is on the different dowels and the cake board. I would love to know in the comment section down below have you guys tear cakes before what is your method of tearing do you have any tearing cake disasters let me know and that's it you guys know how to tear cakes now of course don't forget to come back here again next week so we can make something else into cake together bye